when it comes to black being beautiful and how, uh, as, as the poem was given to me from the white guy, my staff started saying that, hey, black is beautiful and tan may be grand, but white is the color of big boss man. His whole objective was, you know, again, to call me a nigger without calling me a nigger, to basically say that, hey, I'm the white guy, I have the power, I have the authority to basically, uh, your career is in my hands. And so that's what really challenged me and put me in a position of when I heard the term minority, I thought that was a politically correct way to now say, I can call you a nigga and get away with it because now I've said, hey, look, you're a minority and I've put you in this group with basically anybody that's a non-white male. And so as long as you're a non-white male, you're considered a minority. And that's what has led me to share what I'm sharing because the concept of even what happened to George Floyd, I can put my knee on your neck even though you're handcuffed, got the fact he may have resisted, may have done whatever he has done, but from a military perspective, uh, rules of engagement in once the threat is, is, is incapacitated. His threat was incapacitated. And so these things that are occurring and happening was really challenging my heart. And those are the things that I want to discuss when it comes to how do we make a change.